Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of computer graphics where we will try to, to discuss the CRT in detail. In our last lecture, we had discussed about the important components in a CRT display device. In this device, we had seen three of the important components, cathode, focusing anode and accelerating anode. Cathode is responsible Cathode is basically responsible to control the intensity of electron beam and this becomes possible depending upon at what speed we are passing the electron through this heating element towards cathode. If, the, if, if we supply more and more power supply, that it will lead to the production of more electrons here and in this component, since this component is negatively charged, it will lead to the repulsion of electron to let the electron beam to travel in a straight line. So we can say that intensity is directly proportional to the power supply. And this is basically observed at this level. So the control the cathode is basically uh, this cathode which is uh, we can also know know by it we also know it by the name of control grid since it is responsible for controlling the intensity of electron beam so control grid is basically responsible for this purpose of controlling of controlling the intensity of electron beam so the second component focusing anode let the electron beam to be focused in a straight line and the accelerating anode is responsible to provide the speed to the electrons of the electron beam and since these three components is totally responsible for the intensity and the brightness of the electron beam and since they all have a cylindrical shape they the triplet of these three components is known as electron gun so electron gun is nothing but a combination of cathode as a control grid focusing anode and accelerating anode which control the intensity and brightness of electron beam. Further, we have a, some sort of deflecting element which is responsible to segregate or decompose the electron beam into multiple directions. And the deflected electrons will fall on the different points of the monitor screen where which is basically phosphorus coated as a result of which the fall the electron which have fall on this phosphorus coated screen leads to the glow of the glow of the electron at that particular point and uh, this is because phosphorus has a property of glowing on falling of the electron on the monitor screen so we have to analyze the significance and the structure of the deflecting element. So, the various possible deflecting element are 
number one electro magnetic kind of deflecting element here we have So, in this stru structure, we have electron gun as a first component. One earlier we had seen that this part were the triplet, were, uh, were triplet consisting of a control grid, as focusing anode, and a serrating anode. And I, here I just combined them in a single structure, single com single component here. So this electron basically generate a electron beam, and here at this point of the uh, of this device of this particular element, we have electromagnetic electromagnetic. Currents. As a result of this, it will produce. As a result of this, the this electron beam will deflect to move on the different part of the monitor screen. In the second kind of the deflecting element, we have electrostatic. kind of reflecting element here we have the structure somewhat similar to the above kind of reflecting element with an exception that here we have basically Two of the components. One is horizontal deflecting element. and vertical deflecting element these two of the components are basically made of capacitor and capacitor basically is responsible to form a area of electrostatic electrostatic effect as a result of which the electron beam deflects to move in different direction and fall over the monitor screen. So these two important structures are very very important from the examination point of view.
So this is all about the structure of CRT. We will move to the other segments of the CRT display devices, uh, CR, uh, CRT display devices uh, in details. So the topics we have to consider in our coming lectures are a detailed discussion on the DVST, uh, uh, random and calligraphic display devices, refresh and raster display devices.